Hey, it's Dr. Beckman. I just wanted to give you some tips. Look how uh, happy your little boy is doing. Just wanted to give you some tips on how to administer his medication when he's home this weekend. So, a couple tips. When you're doing the anti-nausea, it's all written out for you. This is the metronidazole, it's in a gel capsule. What you can do is the anti-nausea bed is due in the morning. And then the other antibiotic called marbofloxacin is due at night. What you can do is open up the gel capsule and then just put that other dose in. So we'll get this dose tomorrow. You can just put that right in the gel capsule, put the top back on and voila, you'd only have to administer it once. I'm not going to technically administer it to him now because he's not due for his dose yet but I'll give you some tips. And then the antibiotic also fits into this too, which is great. So you only have to orally medicate them once. So for the gel capsules, there's two things that you could do. You could take a little bowl of water and then basically just dunk the gel capsule in a little bit of water so it gets nice and moist. And then for this handsome little man, he is tricky to pill, so what you want to do is take your thumb and your third finger, put it behind kind of his jowls, okay? Use your middle finger on your other hand to kind of put down on the bottom of his, and then aim to go way back, as, he's pretty tricky, so you want to go as way back in that throat as possible. But if it's moist and, and uh, you got water on it, usually goes down pretty quickly. He's been taking it pretty well. The challenge with him is you got to get it way back down there, okay? The other idea is if you can't do that or you're too scared, I'm sending home a pet pillar. I wouldn't moisten this. I wouldn't put it in the water because it'll be too slippery on the pet pillar. But what you can do is put the gel capsule in the pet pillar, okay? Again, same thing with fingers behind his jowls. And then I don't really want to, I'm gonna take this out because he he's not due for his medication. Okay, but pretend that's in there. Put the side of his cheek pocket and go way back. Okay, again, side of the mouth, not the front of the mouth, and go way back, okay? And then you can always follow it up with a little bit of water in a syringe. So after you do that, you can just follow it up with a little bit of water, especially because you're not gonna dunk that one in, into water if you wanna use that technique. So those are all set. For his pain medications, I know you've done those, but I'll go over it again, some tips. You draw up your pain medication. And again, I kind of use my fingers again on his jowls, not the front of the mouth. I'm gonna go, actually this is gonna go in the cheek pocket or underneath the tongue. So what I usually do is I just aim for this little side of the cheek pocket, okay? So just angle it in right there, okay? Awesome. And then as far as the appetite stimulant, this is great. I think you've used this at home when he was there a couple days ago, but all you have to do is make sure you use a little glove, little finger, put an inch and a half strip here, okay? And then massage it onto his inner ear pinna. Well, it's pretty easy, that's just once a day. And all the directions are there for you. As far as the recovery canned food to syringe feed him this weekend, if, I'm hoping he's gonna eat on his own, but just in case, you know, make a, do a quarter of a can, use a good amount of water, you know, pull some up, it's a little tricky, but pull some up in the syringe. And best trick, he's been a really good boy for us when we need to syringe feed him, which we haven't today, we don't have to. Again, just put the side of his mouth, small mouth at a time, and that should work pretty well for him. Um, and then I'm also sending you home some extra gel capsules just in case you need it um, for anything else. You want, you know, you miss something or you need them. And then the four or four, the probiotic, all you do is just open up the packet, sprinkle, and mix it into his wet food. And that's it. All right, handsome. Look how happy he is. We're really proud of him. Have a good weekend.